Today we're going to be looking at the black locust, otherwise known as Rubinia pseudoacacia. This tree is endemic to uh, northern, the southern parts of North America, uh, but it's naturalised widely across Europe and parts of Africa. It's probably known, and you'll probably be aware of this tree due to its uh, spiky, horrible tendency. Let's go in for a closer look. Here's a close-up look at the leaves. Now these are compound leaves with the leaflets held opposite on a small stalk known as a rachis. Now, Rubinias are shade intolerant. They, they, they like open grown um, environments with, with high intensities of light. Although they do suffer from uh, frost uh, on the new growth in, with, with late winter frost in early spring. Uh, unfortunately, it's not apparent on this small branch here, but they are covered with really, really rather aggressive spines which offer, afford them some protection in their native habitat. Um, in, some, in the height of summer, or in the early spring to early summer, they'll produce uh, an abundance of white uh, foxglove shaped flowers uh, which don't have any uh, discernible scent. Here we can see the notable pale, almost cork-like bark. This tree has a very thin cambium layer and is also prone to a range of pathogens such as Ganoderma and honey fungus. Now, the trees are known for their spiky tendency, however this tends to dwindle with age. Um, once they've passed sexual maturity and have become a mature tree, they tend to be less spiky, although branches which are removed produce a profusion of epicormic growths which are exceptionally thorny. For the purposes of this video, I've removed one of the small spines. You can see it against my hand here. If you spend much of your time climbing these trees, you'll become fully aware of these spikes as they can be quite painful. Okay, to summarise, when trying to identify one of these spiny so-and-sos, apart from the obvious spines, the things we need to look for are compound leaves born on a rachis. That's a stalk with individual leaflets held opposite to each other. Small white flowers, if it's in flowers, and pale, pale light brown greyish bark. If you like this video and you want to see more videos on how to identify trees, be sure to tune in for another update or another video on how to identify trees.